Good luck to all of you. So Ibuka came in and said there's going to be a double eviction. Guess who is first to leave? Eric. Eric has been evicted from the Big Brother Niger house. Let me go and meet Lilo and her boyfriend and see how things are going. And Lilo is even having an assessment. Hopefully, he does his arms. Something will come for him. So let's see the next person. You guys, back to back. We didn't even see Eric on stage. Between Tochi and Kaisha, who do you guys think? I think Tochi. I think Tochi will go out. <laughs> so because we're tired. Tochi. I told you guys. So Aisha, do we love you, Aisha? Do we love you, Aisha? So guys, 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 Eric and Tochi are out of the game. We now have eight girls and eight guys, equal proportion. Let's see how things go, guys. Yes, please vote Tricky T now. We don't want to keep it Tricky T. Is so hard working. What's all these? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. So enjoy the rest of the video. Show has started. Ibuka has come on stage wearing I don't even know. I'll put you on the screen. And let's go into the banter with the housemates. As usual, he went in and spoke to the head of house first of all. Congratulated Ozo on being the head of house on the wager win, and then asked Ozo about his outburst that time they were doing the preparation on Wednesday for the task. You know, Ozo actually screamed at Prince. Was it just because of the bathroom, or was there an underlying issue that you addressed with that outburst? And Ozo said it was just because of the bathroom. B was about to perform, and then he walked out on everyone. It was disrespectful to everyone. That's why he made sure Prince apologized to everyone and then he also apologized to Prince for the heaviness of that outburst. Ibuka was like, because Nengi had mentioned earlier that um, after the truth or dare, the thing had pinned you. I don't know what Nengi and Prince even did during the truth or dare, but Ozo was like, no, he has, okay, he didn't even give Ozo a chance to answer that. He just moved on to the next person. He said, Dora, congratulations. You collected that deputy head of us, your full chest. Everybody said laughing, it was funny. So he said, Dora, so let's make this straight. Do you have feelings for Ozo, or is it just friendship? Dora said it's just friendship. He said, But I heard you one time talking to Lucy and Katrina saying you had feelings for him. Dora said, I've never declared my feelings for anybody in this house. That it'd be probably one time they were just saying, and he passed that she was like, This guy is cute, and that was it. She has no feelings for him. He asked her again, and she was like, We are just friends. Of course, who do you go to when you want to clarify things? Who actually speaks their mind apart from Kaisha? Bright O. So you can call her Bright O. So said, Bright O, please, can you help me judge this matter? Do you believe Dorothy? I don't. Do you think there's a triangle? Right, so said yes. Who is on the other side of the triangle? And he said Nengi. Who is he leaning more towards? Right, so was like, of course, Nengi. To the Nengi that auntie, you said you had boyfriend outside. But why are you leading this boys on? Nengi was like, I just tell him I had someone. I'm not leading anybody on. Everybody knows that I have someone outside. Then he said, so what are you and Ozo doing? She's like, for well, now, we're just friends. And that's how things are right now. So it was time for the bottom four. Guess who our bottom four are? Eric, Kaisha, Tochi, and Tricky T. I'm just glad it's only one girl that is there. So at least, even if one girl wants to leave, one girl will leave. Imagine another two girls leaving and you just have like six girls in the house, you know. So with this list, I'm thinking, due to how the people have been relating in the house, I'm not... I'm thinking Trikiti is going nowhere. Tochi, guys like Tochi, but then again, we have three guys there. So I'm thinking people will let Eric go because this is his first, second time. I think people will let Eric go. Kaisha, I love people have been falling, falling in love with Kaisha recently. And these girls like to foot each other. Like girls like to vote girls every time. Like it's crazy. So I'm thinking Kaisha and Eric might go, but we'll just keep watching. So people that just reprimanded Kidwaya for whispering to Erica. He says he's going to punish him tomorrow. Let's do a quick recap with what happened after the update i gave you after the party yesterday so guys the party was lit as we all know dj consequence came through that mayoko song he played that mentioned everybody's name apparently it was a collaboration mayoko did with him to mention all their names so they are arguing in the house today that it was someone that just did it randomly but actually mayoko actually did that thing but it was so exciting for the housemates like the way they were shouting also lovely. also like they even called his own name twice <laughs> Everybody was just happy, like Batoni of Lagos. The thing is really exciting them. Prince has to remind them that come, it's because we're in this house, we don't even know we're actually like big names and everything outside the house. But my highlight for the party, however, was this. <laughs> So yes guys, the girls made up, Tolani, Watoni and V are now on speaking terms, like there's no more grudge, obviously there could be little little things out there but it's just amazing how alcohol actually did a good thing at the party yesterday. So when they woke up this morning, obviously Lekon is still feeling very down, Kid Waya came to feed Erica some noodles, so he had made the noodles with Dora, they had eaten it together and he came to give her a bit, according to her noodles was even plenty so they just eating. So while they were eating, okay when she was done eating, she started talking to Tolani like what did she actually say yesterday, she asked me Tolani, hope I didn't say any crazy things, so they told her some of the things she was saying, that some point they were even telling kid to just get out because while kid was there, obviously you saw the video I put, she was just trying to kiss him, dragging his neck, and then apparently she was not saying, I love you kid, I love you kid. So kid was like, no, he didn't think, he didn't take that seriously at all, that nobody should even take offense, nobody should even think about it.
you just like give her food a quickly um, yes. okay so you just fed her they ate together just ate together and then that was it so Saladi was like she should ask Dora because Dora would remember most of it Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So how, how he's bad. feeling and he you guys, was, like, so kid, kid, why I was feeling so many and things. The fact is emotions have been all over the place. Obviously, first of all, the things that's definitely the house, house clothes, you see. All the triangle, like mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. during his last time, his well, love so. for Erica and then the eviction. But the good thing about the eviction was well, in five hours it will be he will know his fate and that will be gone. But with the other one it's time, you know. Yeah, so basically guys that's it so they're just doing happy family sitting on i think they set up big brother housemates are actually kind of united even if they have clicks and stuff once in a while they come together everybody says things you know with each other in one circle so such is currently doing his diary session kid wire did his he was very um he just said whatever he gave himself a target of one month to be here eric said he gave him Itself, a target to be top five. Erica said the same thing. Erica was like, I never been like, I don't even kick me out of the house. I'm not, there's nothing for me to go out. In fact, I'm not even going to go. You guys have to bring bodyguards to take.